Hey, I'm Jocelyn, and today I'm gonna to make for you a blender hollandaise sauce. Um, I love this because it's really easy. Other hollandaise sauces, like the traditional way, you have to sit and whip with your hand forever and ever. Um, and the blender one makes it really simple. Not only is it simple and it saves your arm, but it actually is a lot more stable than the handmade one. So I actually make a bigger batch than most people. And then I put it in the fridge and I'm very careful when I, when I warm it back up, but I also then have hollandaise for a few other things later in the week. So today I'll make my kids eggs benedict for brunch. And then, um, you know, maybe tomorrow night we'll have some asparagus and I'll have just a little leftover to drizzle on that. So without further ado, let's get to it. Um, you're gonna start with, I use two sticks of butter and I'm just gonna cut these up and I'm gonna throw them on the stove and melt them. And then we're gonna go on to the eggs and everything else. So while my butter is over the, there melting, I'm going to go ahead and squeeze a lemon. So I really love very lemony food. If you've watched any of my videos, lemon comes into play quite often and I kind of like a lot of it. Um, so while most people will do like just a tablespoon or so of lemon juice, I use about two, maybe sometimes a little bit more. It just sort of depends on, on the flavor I want that day. This is one of those recipes that once you get the butter and the egg um, proportion right, you can fudge just a little bit on salt and cayenne and the lemon juice and make it your own sort of flavor. So feel free to play with these amounts just a little bit if you'd like. Okay, so I have my juice of one lemon. Right here I have a scant um, quarter teaspoon of cayenne. There might be a little bit more or less in there. It depends, again, on your own personal preference or whatever. I really like mine a little extra spicy and a little extra lemony, so that's how I tend to make it. Um, and now we're just gonna separate our eggs. Okay, so while I have done the lemons and the eggs, um, I have also been keeping an eye on my butter. You really don't want your butter to boil. You want all that like good liquid in there. So I had to turn mine down just a little bit so I can get all of this done and talk to y'all while I'm doing it. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with these four egg yolks. So for two, I like this recipe um, and it's taken me a while to kind of finagle it so that it turns out really well, but also it's easy to have or to double. So this one I'm doing two, on this recipe I'm doing two sticks of butter and four egg yolks. Um, I've got all my whites here and I'll save those and I'll put them in the fridge and I'll use those for an egg white omelet or something like that tomorrow. Um, no use in putting things to waste, right? So my butter looks like it's just about done. So I'm going to whip this up really quickly until those yolks are lighter in color. check my butter. My butter got all melted and I've put it in this so it's just a little bit easier to drizzle because we're going to drizzle that slowly into our egg mixture. Okay so I'm going to take my lemon juice and I'm, I'm going to add this to, I'm going to do two tablespoons, just about two tablespoons. I'm actually going a little less than that. I'm going to add that and my cayenne to my eggs that I've already kind of boiled those up once, frothed them up, whatever. Um, but I'm gonna add all that and I'm gonna blend this a little bit more. And the next thing we're gonna do is just drizzle this in and my blender is kind of a funky blender but I love it very much. Um, so it only has one, one speed and it's just high. Um, but that works okay. You can do this on a lower setting and work your way up but I find that mine works out just fine by doing it this way. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna pop this up and we'll drizzle. And I'm sure I'll probably make a little bit of a mess while I'm at it too. And that's it. It's pretty easy. Um, you can add salt if you'd like. I use salted butter, so I'm not gonna worry about um, 
anything like that. So let's just, I'm gonna take a spoon and just get a little, you want it to really stick nicely to your spoon like that. Um, that looks kind of perfect. And we'll just, mm, it tastes pretty perfect. I want more lemon. So I'm gonna put more lemon in because that's just me. And so I'm gonna do a little bit more. Yeah, but there we go. Mark's probably gonna hate this because it's gonna be too lemony for him, but shh, we don't we don't care. Let's get a different spoon. Still coating it really nicely. Mmm. Yummy. It's just perfect. So I am going to make my kids some eggs benedict and also my husband, and he's not gonna love this because it's gonna be too tart for him, but that's okay. I don't care. Anyway. That is Blender Hollandaise, and it's a pretty easy recipe to kind of, like I said, you can double it and you can have it and make it really easy either way. So, hope you enjoyed it. See you later.